Hi, welcome to my little backyard. It's the end of the season and it's harvest time. My name is Randy and I'm an amateur. And as an amateur, I make a lot of mistakes. But with your help, I may just get this garden finished. <laughs> you know what I did last time. I, I made the mistake of planting this garden a little too late in the season. But I did end up getting something like a cucumber. And I also ended up being able to pick some green beans and some zucchini and carrots and lettuce. And, but there was a little bit of a problem, but it, in the end it was pretty successful. Oh, I did get a yellow pepper. So next season, I definitely am going to be planting in early spring. Planting late is not so good. I mean, these potatoes, they didn't do very well. And my onions, well, they didn't grow well in this box at all. And the cucumbers, they didn't take off at all. But you know what did take off? <laughs> Were my bees. A few weeks back, while shooting the last episode, my bees swarmed. This was the result. They clung to a small tree just over the fence where the hive is situated. I tried to catch them, but got nowhere. Then they did it again. So I tried to catch them once more. I thought this was strange, but after speaking to some of the experts, I found out that in reality, they were really following a new queen that was leaving the hive to be mated. They did this two times in as many days. How I understand it is that a new queen is made when a queen dies or when the hive is ready to split into two, and that is when it swarms. Then the new queen has to leave the hive and gets together with male bees called drones and then goes back to the hive and starts laying. What I didn't understand is that the new queen takes a number of flights and because of the pheromones she's producing, the rest of the workers follow her out and this is the result. They're not dangerous at best of times, but they really were calm and gentle in this situation. People passed by and didn't even notice that they were right beside them and those that did were surprised but unafraid. So you remember Bob, Bob was uh, with us last time and he helped me put the bees in first. So Bob, they, they really didn't have anything to worry about when with, with this. Never, when, when they're swarming or whether they're on a mating flight like, like that, bees have nothing to protect. They protect the hive. So they're perfectly safe when they're out, out there. Although it looks pretty weird. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It was, it was pretty fascinating getting that close to them. Um, the, uh, the queen, when she came back into the hive, is that's the queen, the new queen's okay. hive. And there's not really any honey in it yet. Yes. Like, because they, they just didn't have time to do it. First but year, this yeah. one here, if you want to look inside, it actually has a little bit of honey in it. Okay. And I'm wondering, should we oh. just open it up and check and make sure maybe we can take some honey off today? Well, you've got a lot of bees in there, so you know maybe we've got some action going. Honey okay. action. Well, then, you know, why don't we just go off and get our suits on and then we'll open it up and we'll check. Sounds okay? good to me. Okay, Let's sounds go. good. Here we go. So now that we got our outfits on, and we're we're gonna we're gonna open this up, right? And we're gonna look and see okay. if we can do honey, right? So Indeed. let me take this off. If you okay. want to take the other one off. All right. And uh, this is the first time I've opened this one for a while, so I don't know what to expect. I think we're gonna use the, the hive tool, don't you? Oh, Indeed. look at them! Look at. Oh, that. No, how do I? Oh man, it's really glued down there. Uh, you got to get it under there. Oh no, that's a... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow, it is stuck, huh? That's called propolis. It's propolis. For the city, the glue that binds the city together. Oh yeah? Flat. Okay. There we go. Oh, oh not bad. There's a few in there. Let's put this guy down here for now. Yeah. Wow. Looking nice. That nice. is nice. Okay. So now we just need to get, I think it's one, two, let's, well, let's look at this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's really glued uh, in there too. The other way. Oh, the other way? Okay, I'll let you do that one. Oh. It's really in there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we got that one. Okay. I don't know if I can see hold it here. I got that one. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can. Okay, so oh I'm, yeah, look at that. Oh look yeah. at all that. There's enough honey in there, right? Oh you got that's pretty heavy, you know, that's nice. Okay, nice. so let's 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 do that. Let's get uh, <laughs> let's put it back in. Wow, right look on. at those. Yeah, a lot of it's capped. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Right? Good. With the cap honey 
Like they put the wax, they put the wax on top, right? Okay, yeah. After it's been cured, correct? Yes, indeed. Okay, so we know that we can take some honey out of here. Indeed. So uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So we, I guess we should just put the lid back on, right? Don't want to bother more than we have to. Right, because the idea behind the flow hive is to open this up like while well, they're busy. Okay. Right. So. Uh, why don't you open this up okay. and then grab that box over there. Okay. All right. And the idea is that eventually down here, we're going to open this up. And that's and, where this that's comes a, The jar comes up. Yeah, see the nice little jar we've got? Perfect. So now we just have to open up that little cap. All right. Right. And, and what we're going to do is the honey's going to come out of here. So I just put this in here? Yeah, you just put it in there and it'll just fit in kind of snug. So, so there's a little... It is, snug. Yeah, that's yeah, is it in there? Good? Yeah. Okay, good. good. And then, as this is supposed to be simple. I've never done this before, okay. so it should be it should be quite interesting to see how it goes. So this big key, whoa, okay, yeah, yeah big one. It goes in here. Okay. Okay. And either the top or the bottom is the one that that opens it. This will open up the the thing. Oh yeah, here it goes. Wow, it's really hard to open. I can open this thing, but it, wow, it's. I've heard this is pretty hard to do. Maybe we can sort of see what's going on. Sure. Okay. Uh, no, not really. That really help. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, there we go. We got it. So now we should be seeing honey come out here. Oh look, there's some bees trying to get out. Oh. We'll try to let them back Sorry, in again. Sorry, darling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're done there. Okay. So let's see if we have any honey coming out. Oh, there seems to be Maybe. something coming out. I'm hoping. Oh yeah. Is that it? Well, it is. Uh, That's you know, an interesting experiment. Honey is a very thick thing. 1.42 times the uh, specific gravity of water. Wow, you so, do know a lot about honey. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's a syrup. It's coming out as a syrup. I want to see if we can actually. Oh yeah, and then it's coming down. You can see it. It's very cool. Can you see it? Oh there? yeah, yeah, there it comes. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty neat. That's, okay. that's, that's very cool. Okay, so it is coming. It's just going to be a little while. So, oh yeah, there it goes. Here we go. See. Whoa, what exciting. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. It is coming. Look at that. Can you see it? That's well, pretty, given, that is very Given cool. that you don't actually have to do the, the old style of uh, an extractor and all these various right. ways of taking the comb off and all that, that is kind of cool. It is very cool. So let's let's just walk away for now. Okay. And then when the honey comes in, we're going to come back. Okay. All right, good. We'll, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. All right, see what happens. Here it comes. Here it's about to drip. We get the first drip. That, that's cool, isn't it? It really is cool. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's pretty nice. Nice color. Is it? Yeah. That's good. Well, I tell you. That's very exciting. As you can see, the flow hive works great. Honey right out of the hive and into a jar, ready for us to eat. It was great to watch for a little while, but it took much longer than realized. The process carried on right into the evening. But to show you how it looked, we sped up the process. And after all, I couldn't let Bob sit around all day. He's a busy guy, you know. I needed him to help me inspect the next hive, which we'll do next time in part two. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, good gardening and good health. <laughs>